like today's going to be another one of those days. I tripped over my sock, I burnt my toast, and I made a guy drop his books. How do you think I'm doing? Now, before this goes any further, Casey, I suggest you put me Wait, Luke! <laughs> after you made that girl get hit by that car. Now, Luke, I have a little task for you. See this girl, Casey? She's still alive, for now. As you can see, I turned back the clock for this morning on the exact day that you killed this poor girl. What the hell? Now listen, basically, she wasn't supposed to be killed yet. Her death isn't scheduled for another 40 years. What? So because of you, you have to change her fate. Wait, you mean? Yes. Prevent her death, and you shall live. And as a bonus, I'll get rid of your bad luck. How's that sound? But if you fail, not only will her soul be mine, but yours will it too. Okay? Good luck. You could say today's been a little easier on me today. And that's nice to hear. Maybe a luck change influence. You may be right. And you? Well, this morning I really fancy some cereal, and we didn't have any milk like usual, so I went to pick up the get-down. And on the floor there was a 20-pound note. You should have been here, Look out! Oh. Oh. Hey, Luke, what's happening? Oh, Casey, it's okay. Well done, Luke. You saved this girl's life today. And as I promised, your sin is forgiven. But also, I'm sorry. You can't escape your fate. You mean? Yes. The girl's death isn't today. Today is yours. You know you can't be death, right? 